Konnichiwa, everyone. Princess Bear here, we're back at Epcot, this time in Japan Pavilion. No, we're not doing an Explore Japan Pavilion video. That's coming later today. We're just grabbing a quick bite at a quick service. We're going to get the quick service items here that are not festival items. So head through a grill and our new favorite super secret place. Let's go grow some veggies. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. Creamier than our normal unfiltered category. There's some chunks in there. 3.75 out of 5 plus. I think this is my new addiction because it's a relaxing time and a century time. And I think this is my third or fourth time drinking this very beautifully tart drink. I had to get this first because it's just so amazing and Everyone thinks it's a check-in stand, but it's actually a bar that serves all of the amazing drinks that you get at Shiki Sai. If you haven't seen our Shiki Sai video, you should do that too. Cheers to you. Five out of five. Princess and Adam. If you like, like, tart, lemony, fresh drinks. I've seen a lot of wasabi in my life. This is the sludgiest wasabi I've ever seen. I am afraid to ingest this. It looks disgusting. I'm just gonna leave. There's so many other beautiful places here in this pavilion. This is sad already. I know that people do not like this, but I'm doing it because this sushi is gonna need all the help it's gonna, it can get. This sushi was made today, but like the avocado is already black and I don't eat black avocado so I'm only gonna eat like two of these that do not have black and I think I'm gonna go with this one right here and then I gave myself some training wheels because I feel like I'm gonna need it with how gross this sushi looks compared to what I had at Cheeky Side this is gonna hurt my feelings I already know actually it's not terrible it's pretty tasty if it was fresh, I would love this. I would probably inhale the whole thing. It's like a four out of five for just that one sushi roll. Four out of five sushi rolls. But then all these other ones have like black and avocado, and I'm sorry, but either you improperly stored this, or you made this too early and it serves it too late, and I don't want to put that in my body. I just don't. That scares me. Always and forever, we're gambling with our stomachs. When we do these kind of videos, you never know what you're going to come into, especially when it comes to quick service. This might be one of those places you want to come to earlier in the day rather than later in the day, like we sometimes do. Well, they do have a vegetable udon bowl. Unfortunately for us, that vegetable udon bowl, noodles are made of egg. Have egg in them, rather. So, none of the princess, only the vegetarians. Uh, we're we're going to gamble on the sushi. I'm going to try to save the princess some of the better looking ones. And seeing what sort of damage I can do to myself with the others. No, you can just eat the. You, I'm not. I'm. I'm done. I'm gonna take that one. This one looks semi safe. So you can clear out my nostrils a bit with the wasabi. I'm just shame This is really well put together. Like everything tastes fresh. It doesn't really taste like it's been sitting for obviously more than a day. It's not like gas station sushi or even public sushi. If the avocado is a bit more appealing. This would be a solid sushi break. It's probably the same sushi that's selling in a little container in smaller doses down at the Saki Mist stand. Which we haven't done in a while. We should do that one day. Uh, but it's just depressing. The avocado looks so terrible. But otherwise, it's actually decent vegetable sushi. For a respectable price. And you don't usually get that in Epcot. I would give it a three and a half out of five plus. If it wasn't for the look of the sushi, you'd probably be getting more. Honestly. Oh, cold edamame. I was not expecting cold edamame. It's usually warm edamame. No. Uh-uh. I know they give you salt, and sometimes I'll put soy sauce, but mm -mm. I don't like this. I love edamame. I don't like this. 
I'm gonna give it two out of five edamames. This is not the bean I'm looking for. I don't like anything here. I'm kind of sad. So, edamame as a snack is something I feel should be in every park. I should be able to get this at every cart around World Showcase. Where like you can get, uh, or you used to be able to get like the chocolate and mousse by the, by the land. I should be able to get this at, at, at beer carts where people picking up the apples and the grapes. I should get edamame absolutely everywhere. Everywhere. In the big cups, not tiny cups, the big tall cups. Like a McDonald's shake or salad. Don't know where that came to mind, but that's what I'm thinking. It doesn't, it just tastes cold, like it was never steam, but it's still a bit tough. But it's anything more made. I would do this as a reasonable snack if it was big. As it is, it's average to below average. 2.25 out of 5 plus. So here we have another beautiful salad. This one has garlic ginger dressing, also verified vegan with soy though, if you have a soy allergy. I guess this is what I'm eating because I hate everything else. Decent, tasty, average room temperature salad. I really can't complain, but also it's room temperature. There's so many amazing like quick service places here in Epcot specifically. I don't know why anybody would want to stop here. This is like mediocre at best. I'll give this salad a two and a half out of five salads. It doesn't toss my salad. Nothing here tosses my salad. I'm not into it. I don't want it. I don't like it. I'm gonna have to go eat somewhere else after this. This is what's gonna have to happen. So we have a salad. Now is it a ginger salad with all the things that we love, carrots, cucumbers, and ginger dressing. I love ginger dressing. Probably my favorite dressing on the planet after French. So probably number two. No, they're probably closely tied. Pretty closely tied because if you give me ginger, I'll eat that all day long with my rabbit food, with chopsticks. Now the fact that it's mainly a salad for the princess is the biggest thing that she has to eat here. It's kind of depressing. I have dog known places for only being able to offer a plant-based friends and family salad. You don't get a pass to get in the Japan Pavilion. This is sad and embarrassing. And so few dressing too. You just eat like half my dressing. It's been in refresh. Luckily there is some more dressing at the bottom, so I didn't completely rob the princess. You're gonna need to toss it a little bit. Yes, we're tossing salads here. Completely tossing salads. Uh, but this isn't gonna fill you up. This only thing that qualifies as a snack. If you really just had like this and like the edamame, you'd walk out of here starving. <laughs> that would be a problem. Because then your friends would have eaten and then you're sitting here hungry and then you gotta make them stop for food when they wanna go stand in line for a ride or get drinks and you're the hungry one. It's not a vibe. Even though it's a salad. It's a decent salad. It's two out of five plus. It's lazy. But here you have the chicken katsu curry, which is doing, I feel like, the thing that a lot of like mom and pop sushi restaurants in America do, where it's like, here's some meat, a ton of rice, sauce and veggies. This is a chicken katsu. That is four pieces of chicken. Small little cutlet. When I say small cutlet, I mean like a baby cutlet. Rice and sauce. I would have even done them with like more veggies and felt less bad, but that is not a lot of chicken. We're gonna try the chicken by itself first. That would not bode well. Because it is dry. It is dry in most of our DMs. Oh. This is as dry as Burning Man should have been. Let's go ahead and just dunk that in there. Get some of the brown. Maybe that'll help. Nice and drippy. Nice deep, deep, savory Japanese curry flavor that like sticks in the esophagus, like just slides down. Flavor's a punch. I just wish the chicken was better quality because the sauce is immaculate. I'm right, gonna go and try the rice just to be sure they haven't ruined that. It's kind of hard to ruin rice and the broccoli. Honestly, they're standard. Broccoli is broccoli, it's not undercooked, it's not overcooked. And the rice isn't overcooked or undercooked. The whole plate though, 
it's still kind of average. And this is honestly, we love the Japan Pavilion. However, I would say that this is one place, if you have other options, you should probably skip. I'm not embellishing, no flamboyant, no jokes with that. It's, it's a skip. Skip this whole plate from two and a half out of five claws. It's average, it's food, it's edible. But you're not gonna create any memories here. So there was our quiz quick service experience here at the Japan Pavilion with a little side journey over to Shikisai, our newest favoritist bar. This is our newest super secret, not so secret bar that you guys need to go visit. You do, you just take a drink, you take a picture, you tag us in it, I want the credit. We're not getting anything for it, but I want the credit. Either way, uh, this we don't do this very often, but this is one place I, I have to say that this is a skip for Epcot. Like, I agree. It's just not... It's not a thing. It's, 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 not a, it's very pretty up here. It's very serene. We got some other quick service. We can come up here and enjoy this view, but the food is just disappointing. I would say take the extra 30 minutes to an hour and go eat a cheeky side. It's worth the extra money. She's actually not wrong in this case. I don't know what you guys think. Do you guys come up to Katsuri Girl that often or even try the other quick service options they have here in Japan? If we did something wrong or you think we should have gotten some different order, by all means, let us know in the comments below. We're always willing to give us a place a second, third, fourth, fifth, even any sixth fail. We are here for you guys. So let us know. If there's anything else you'd like to see your number one choice in foodie entertainment do the comments is always the only place to find us hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this and we have new videos five days a week monday tuesday wednesday thursday saturday we'll see you soon be sure to subscribe and like this video and if you don't comment that's pretty fast though bear my knee to myself into tagula come by into the river you heard the girls <laughs>